All right, guys, let's take a look at this Chemicos CHF100. This is a machine that you can basically OEM from China. Um, you can buy a couple of them. They'll put your logo on them. They actually call them the CHF100. If you go look them up online, you can get the factory information. It's based out of China. Um, so, you know, they claim it's a good machine, so I'm willing to put it to the test. But I have no faith in a company that has no U.S offices and has no ability to quality control or support its uh, you know u.s customer base doesn't really make a lot of sense to me but there's an interest in the market apparently there's people selling them so i'm willing to test it and uh, prove it to see if it works or not you know the power to the people knowledge is power so let's see uh, if this thing's very accurate Basically what we've done is taken our chemistry machine, a fine care vet, and the Chemicos vet CHF100 and compared them against uh, dog blood. So um, what we have here is our own small case study basically showing the value of this machine in accuracies terms and um, you know presenting it to you guys so you can make your own assumptions about what you think is the most accurate out there. So basically starting with the TOSO uh, on the far left. We start with a 3.6 compared to the Juan Fo at a 3.4. We would call that a pretty, a pretty good correlation. Um, that's pretty accurate across those two. Running over to the Chemicos machine, you have a 0.6. So they are also on a 0 to 50 scale. So you would kind of be expecting to see something that's referenceable. But you know, you could move on and 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 go again and see 5.8 to 6.52 compared now to the Chemicos machine at a 1.2. I'm starting to see some sensitivity issues. Um, it's not really reading numbers as accurately, it seems. Um, and then moving on to the zeros, you know, it's not really picking up low numbers. So if you were trying to use this for a reverse or anything, it would probably let you down pretty good in that department. Um, in the higher numbers, it's hard to say. I mean, we got a 38 on the TOSO, a 40 on the Juan Fo, and then we got an above 50 on the Chemico. So that means we don't know where the dog's at, according to that machine. Again, 11 on the TOSO, 10 on the Wanfo, and 42 on, on the Chemico machine. So just kind of consistently goes down like that. 8, 8, 32, 6 to a 7 to a 1. Not sure really what happened there. And then again, 18, 18 to a 2. So uh, very inconsistent is what we're finding right now. Taking a look closer at the Wanfo and Chemicos Vet, something I noticed right away is the Chemicos Vet is very light. The build quality doesn't really seem to be there. And checking it on the scale, you find it only comes in at 3.2 pounds. It's not a very heavy machine. Comparing that to the Fine Care Vet, this thing is no joke. I mean, it's got to be almost double, you know, we're 5.3 pounds. It's a significant difference and it's it definitely shows in the build quality this definitely feels like something that's put together more precisely and could probably take a stronger beating when you pick this one up it almost feels like something that if you dropped it would almost shatter apart on the edges is another thing i would be very weary about for people looking to purchase things like this in the open market now when it comes to solving the issues of accuracy on the chemical machine I'm only left with WhatsApp and, and, and means of messengers to get any kind of information. They have no higher layer of infrastructure inside the U.S., so it's basically all, you know, a Chinese Alibaba, you know, drop shipping some kind of situation. So um, I will dive further into the machine at your guys' request. I've had a lot of interest, people asking what's going on with this and is it accurate? What do you think about it? And this is just my base analysis. And at, at the end of the day, I mean... Information is all we're out here trying to seek and this is just the information that we're coming up with with the products that we're being given So, um, you know, you guys can make your own assumptions But for now, I think it's safe to say if you guys really are in the market for a progesterone machine, I mean It'd be hard to be in the breeding industry and have not have heard of Wanfo already So if you guys haven't you can check them out, but pretty much everything coming from here on after is just a knockoff or a next place to Wanfo so stick with the guys that have you guys in mind. We calibrate everything. I mean, these guys are quality controlled from top to bottom. You guys are in great hands with accuracy. It's not even a question with Wanfo. 
Now, while the Chemico's VET does seem like a nice machine at first glance, we do think the machine has a lot of room to grow and they obviously have a lot to do as far as calibration on canine goes. The company itself is a new company. It's based out of China and they basically make these things unbranded so people can put their logos on them. So I doubt that you'll be seeing these too much in the future, but we wanted to show you guys just how accurate they were. There's an interest in it. So we want to make sure that you guys stay educated.